Yan Ching, my apprentice. He remains by my side as my retainer due to his youth, which I hope will season him with experience. He will stand for the Law Fu's clout knights in the upcoming war dance, ready to take on all kinds of challenges. Great, great! It's a real treat to see so many talented young people around here today. Oh, I almost forgot. This is my apprentice, Yu Li. It's you. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you two already know each other? Guess we don't- What a coincidence! I was afraid I'd have trouble finding this girl. Oh? Now you've piqued my curiosity. Tell me, how did you two become acquainted? She helped me capture the escaped Borison prisoners at the Starskiff Haven. Allow me to express my gratitude for you. But when you left, you took my flying sword with you. Your flying sword? <laughs> oh, so that's why I found a dagger in my bag. Turns out it's yours. Yes, it is. Now that we've met again, I hope... <laughs> nope, that won't do. Won't do? Ah. <sighs> You want your sword back, right? Well, you can't just take it back. On the Juming, when you lose your sword on the battlefield, you have to reclaim it on the battlefield. <laughs> As for this little sword, it was supposed to strike that escaped Borison prisoner. But unfortunately, its owner's agitated state caused it to fly off like a kite with a broken string, and it missed its target. By the way, if I hadn't caught it and helped it hit its mark, that Borison prisoner would have gotten away. Hold on a second, Lee. You took my sword without even asking, and now you're refusing to give it back? <sighs> so much for Lafu Swordmasters. What did you just say? If you just stepped up, and took your sword back from me fair and square? <laughs> I would have totally respected you. But nope, you tried to play it down, expecting me to just hand it back to you like it's nothing. In front of everyone. With all due respect, you don't honor your sword. So you don't deserve it. Hasn't anyone told you that taking without asking is stealing? If you want to settle this with swords, fine. Let's have a one-on-one -on -one duel right now. Yang Ching. <laughs> well, that's more like it. Just be careful. Because I'm not as easy to handle as the Borison. Uh, you two, be quiet and apologize to Yang Ching. <laughs> hey! Whose side are you on, Grandpa? I. um. I don't take sides. It's a small misunderstanding. And an apology would be too much. I've heard about the Zhu Ming's incredible swordplay and craftsmanship. Most notably, the legendary Flame Wheel Octet. Seeing Miss Yun Li, who is among those ranks today, well, I must say, she definitely has that fiery edge. <laughs> Such grandiose names. Some folks love to spin these fancy titles, trying to set the Cloud Knights apart. Yun Li is still just a young girl, a bit awkward and hot-tempered. So please forgive her if she's being rude. 